isn't it the role of Republican leaders, particularly now, since Trump won the majority of the popular vote, overwhelming majority of electoral votes, House and Senate are Republican majority, state houses majority of governorships, that's a mandate. So that means that Republican leaders, the two head guys in the House and Senate should be helping. Are they going to? I have high hopes that they that, that people are seeing what Trump just accomplished and are going to be pulling the oars to get things done as soon as possible. And I think the jury is out, right? I, I think um, I, I want to see and I'm hoping to see people looking for ways to move these appointees through the process. Um, and sounds like they're trying to do that. Uh, we'll see. But, you know, we we have to do things not based on how it has been done recently, like this whole notion of the recess appointments, right? You have some people out there who are saying this is unconstitutional. It's not the way it was meant to be. It's totally wrong, right? It It is a specific provision in the Constitution to be able to allow a president, if he does, if he got, has to stand up an administration quickly and he's dealing with a Senate that won't move quickly enough, to be able to install his people so that he can actually function as a government, right? That it's specifically mapped out, and yet you have— So in the Constitution. In the Constitution. So it's by definition not a constitutional <laughs> fair— fair. So you, yet you have Republicans, uh, one of them in particular, like Ed Whelan right now, who's attacking Trump for even mentioning. Who's Ed Whelan? Uh, he, he writes one, he's one of the main kind of, uh, legal luminaries on the right and, and, uh, uh, ethics and public policy are one of those think tanks. And he's out there opposing the whole notion of recess appointments, uh, for, for, for whatever reason, I don't know, other than he, he thinks it's unseemly and not the way the, the founders Okay, so but don't, I mean, this is a whole separate question, and it, it's a broad brush, but in general, conservative think tanks, with some exceptions, are not conservative. They're tools of the left and sort of repositories of broke down people with no other job prospects. Why would anyone pay attention to them? I think they should increasingly not be. Right? Yeah, and by the way, there are some good ones, and I... You know, I love Kevin Roberts and Heritage, and, yeah. and there are good people in some think tanks for sure. But in general, it's like the world of Jonah Goldberg. It's like, who cares what you think? It, it They only matter to the extent that people in the arena listen to them. Right. And that is increasingly they are not being listened to. And I think that's part of one of the reasons why they're so up in arms about it, right? I mean, yeah. that's National Review itself is that's that, what that is phenomenal. National Review? That was a magazine in the 50s. Right. Right. So, and and I think that's but my point is the extent to which people have opposed Trump and 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 the America First agenda I think ultimately is a loss of power because they yeah. didn't get to set the agenda they don't get to be the traffic cop uh, they don't get to kind of say oh this is this offends my sensibility and more and no if if you have a radical constitutionalism and that's really what I've been calling for given this crazy unconstitutional situation that we're finding ourselves in. If you have a radical constitutionalism, it's going to be destabilizing. You may find that you can use the James Madison could have put a whole lot more recess appointments in than you would have ever imagined. But it's also exhilarating. And why, if you're trying to preserve the country, would you make arguments against that? Why wouldn't you be making arguments for it? So that's one of the reasons we just put out a five-page paper. We'll put out a 40-page paper next as to this is the constitutional grounds for recess appointments of, we haven't just, President Trump hasn't decided to do it, but if he does, he will be in the same vein as our founders. It's a little weird. And again, you haven't, well, as of right now, so it's November 18th, you've not been nominated. No. Yeah, no. I think you will be. Hope so. Uh, but you haven't been. So I don't want to put you in an awkward spot because if you are, you're going to have to deal with this. But why would Mitch McConnell, still the Senate leader of Republicans, why would he say we're not doing recess appointments? Again, I, I can't I haven't spoken to Senator McConnell on it. I, my guess is that the Senate is going to want to know the argument. And, the, and, and they probably have been told uh, and may have been told. And I'm going to just keep it as positive as possible, that this is not inappropriate. You can't do it. And I want to show them, and no, in fact, you can. Uh, it is entirely appropriate. 
and to win the argument. And then if you win the argument and then people are like, no, we don't want to do this, then it's a different matter, right? It's like uh, it, it just kind of it reveals that they're they're not actually on board with those particular nominees going into office. And that's a different issue. For 35 years, Liberty Safe has been the number one manufacturer of safes made in this country, American made from start to finish. They make high quality gun safes. I've got one. Vault doors, home safes, handgun vaults, whatever you need to protect the things you value. And again, I can tell you from personal experience, these guys know what they're doing. I use Liberty Safes for the things that I don't want stolen, the things that really matter. My father's shotguns, the documents that I've got to have, and a lot more. I'm not going to tell you what else, but you need one. Crime rates are way up. And if you have anything you would like to protect that you need to protect, Liberty Safes is the way to do it. Now, Liberty Safe has over 350 dealers nationwide who specialize in delivery and installation and answering any questions you have. If you've got somebody to protect, they've got a way to protect it. Visit libertysafe.com, pick out what you need, and be sure to use the code Tucker at checkout to let them know that we sent you. They'll take care of the rest. Liberty Safe is a product we fervently believe in. With Liberty Safe, you are always protected. So I, I think that we don't know yet to whether will the Senate have an issue? I mean, to some extent, the Senate knows it has an issue because they couldn't move these nominees fast enough in the first term because the Democrats were filibustering everyone, right? And so, and by the way, you know, a lot of these hearings and you, you read the history books and people got approved by the Senate in a day, you know, like the system wasn't meant to be this slow and it has been bogged down and slowed down and We'll see, you know, Senator Thune, Majority Leader Thune will have a chance to put his own imprint on the Senate, and I want to see how he does. Yeah, I've got, you know, high expectations, low hopes. Hope I'm wrong. Um, It'd be one thing if the outcome was positive, if the country was thriving. You know, you say, okay, the system's dysfunctional, but you don't really need a lot of change right now, so that's fine. But the outcome is not positive at all. It's total destruction of the country we grew up in, so got to fix it. Why would you want to enter back into this? Well, you know, I, I've always said the last four years I would never want to miss out on another chance to be at the president's side. I find in him to be someone who's so uniquely situated for the moment. And you go back, and I've done some uh, reading on this, you go back and read some of the Federalist Papers, and they actually designed the system for someone like him whose his, his interests would align with the country's interests to such an extent to which— uh, he, it actually works. Like separation of powers is meant to have strong, opinionated, convictional leadership that go as fast as they can and hard as they can in their direction. And for the system to then have true separation of powers, right? Uh, an example of that is um, is what he's proposing on recess appointments. If the Constitution allows you to do it, Why wouldn't you do it if it's in your interest? And then let's see what Congress does in response to that. But that's real separation of powers. It's not like this kind of fake, you know, fourth branch administrative state where none of it works. and It's all kind of cartel behind the scene uh, where all you get is kind of different parts of each of the branch uh, coming together almost as a blob. And I, I, I think he's so unique in terms of being a historical transformative, transformative person that we can actually save the country. And that's really what it comes down to. Um, The hour is late. It's 11.59. It's not too late, but it's really late. And this isn't an election where you can just have seesaws. We'll we'll be up and you'll be down. No, we, we, if we don't win and and he's won an electoral mandate, now it's time to actually execute. If we, if we don't execute, we may never have this chance again. And so you have the president who's ready to go. Now you need know-how people who can do that and do it with the attacks that are coming and they will come, right? They they will come hardest at the people that they believe are the greatest threats. And, but, but that's what the president needs. The president needs those types of people where he's not going to be successful and the country won't be saved. And I just... I think that it's incumbent on those of us who have that skill set, who have have had the the experiences we've had, 
you know, we're put here for a reason. We're, we're here because we, we're, God has given us a particular purpose for a particular time, and it's incumbent us to be responsible with those moments that we're given. So I don't know what the future holds. I don't know if I serve or if I continue at my center to, to be championing the ideas that he's working on. Uh, I'm happy with both of those scenarios. But it's incumbent on us to, 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 to give everything we can to be successful in this moment because I don't think we will get a, a, another moment like this. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. We hope you'll subscribe to it. And by the way, you can hit the little bell on there and get notifications every time we produce a video. We hope you'll do that also.